Hello everybody, welcome back. So, it's been ages since I've been able to make a video. I've been so busy at work. Obviously, you know, I work with social services, so vulnerable kids, vulnerable families. Since this whole corona outbreak thing, it's just completely kicked off. And I've got my own children at home, so I've just, and obviously a new baby, as you know. So, everything's just been very, very busy for me. I've had to just say to the YouTube channel, just I'll just have to give it a back seat. But... I've now been told as of today that I have to work from home. Uh, it doesn't mean that I, I can't work. Obviously, I'm not going to sky, but I do need to do some work. And I'm going in and out of the house all the time to go and visit people, visit families and, and children and schools and things. But it does mean that I get to work from home, which means that I'm near this computer, which means that there's no real excuse for me to not do something every day now. Um, it'll be in the daytime during work hours, you know. Um, so let's start this YouTube channel back up again so I mean I can't remember the last time I made a video it was definitely before this whole thing completely just collapsed on itself um, let's have a look at the situation on the daily first of all shall we so on the daily we see obviously I mean this is going back now I mean god this is the last time I did TA on this we broke down out of this descending channel god that feels like a lifetime ago now to be honest so much has happened since then in the world in my life and your life, so basically broke out of the descending channel and broke down beneath the uh, the 200 exponential. Then we finally um, bounced back up from it, and we rejected and broke down physically beneath it. Properly broke down beneath it. So this golden cross is void because we do have a death cross. That's obvious to everybody. And it's, and it's at this point really where and and this this point realistically at this point now here. And, and to be honest with you, it, it should have been pretty apparent really as we were breaking our way beneath it in these levels they're in about 8,400 or so the the inevitable was going to happen the weakness had been shown and there's nothing that could be done now the rest of the world's financial markets as you all know completely collapsed even gold and then insult to injury OPEC have just completely just obliterated the price of oil so oil I believe is now trading at about $23 a barrel which is ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous and if anybody knows a little bit about the financial markets oil is essentially it's like uh, it's, it's I mean it's in many ways it's a store of value for countries um, those who have oil essentially have financial safety um, and obviously those who have the abundance of oil uh, have control over prices so basically this is a kick in the teeth um, for everybody that's already on their knees um, and that's just added insult to injury. So anyway, all of that side, that's just general blah blah financial situation, global markets, coronavirus, um, international feuds with oil. Where does this leave us with crypto? So the vast majority of that move that we saw out of all of that, corona, oil, has all probably played out and, and, and brought us down to this bottom level here, which is uh, very, very low. It's, it's so low that that doesn't even tell me where it was. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. So uh, it was around about 3,700, I believe, 3,800, 3,700 or so, um, which if you could bring yourself back to like a month ago, that sounds unimaginable that we could have actually got down to that level it sounds absolutely if somebody had said that to me you know maybe if they would have explained how this epidemic would turn to a pandemic and what that's likely to do I was kind of a little bit mm, a little bit resistant to the fact that it actually could become a global pandemic you call that denial call that um, lack of foresight you know but Jesus Christ that completely has destroyed everything so does this mean that we've bottomed at this level it could do it could do at the moment um, I know in the UK which doesn't count for a great deal globally but um, you know uh, US is very much the same most of Europe is doing the same and the the pandemic appears to be slowing down in China which is good so China might have a handle on it so we're talking about one superpower that might have a handle on it already which is China the rest of the world is is unfortunately feeling the um, feeling the burn at this point now and trying to catch up or trying to at least avoid it spreading. Uh, some doing better than others, but no one doing particularly well. Financially, um, the UK has has injected quite a lot of money into 
basically everybody's pocket in a way. Um, it's yet it's yet to trickle down, but there's been that relief which kind of has allowed us to breathe a little bit. America, I'm not entirely sure of the exact situation, but I would assume they're doing something similar. I think a lot, a lot of these uh, European countries are doing the same. So they're cashing out, basically. They're throwing money back into the pockets of those who need it, which is basically everybody. So that money's got to go somewhere. It, it, and uh, it doesn't just go back into landlords' pockets and banks, mortgages, things like that. I mean, it will go into those sort of places, and it inevitably all go back to the government once everything's back up and running again. But for the moment, it's not really helped the stock market. But what it seems to be doing... Uh, currently is trickling into crypto so people now having a little bit more confidence over their own situation financial situation um, has allowed for at least crypto to move temporarily now you've got to bear in mind crypto is a very small market it, it trades uh, at a, on a good day you know well it's a very small market I can't remember the exact amount was they open interest recently as well a billion or something, just over a billion. So that's, I mean, that's a good day. So it's a very small asset, so a very small asset class. When I mean, you think about forex, which trades uh, roughly around five trillion a day, um, uh, crypto doesn't do anywhere near that. So it doesn't take a great. Well, it takes an enormous amount, but it doesn't take a great deal for it to move. You see the volatility of other assets uh, with with higher market caps in them. Um, crypto doesn't really have that. So. What we're seeing here when we're looking at this chart, and the chart is beginning to make sense again after what's happened. However, you've got to err on the side of caution. There's a lot of pain to be felt in the Western Hemisphere, and perhaps maybe even the Eastern, and perhaps maybe even globally. I still think we're quite early into this whole pandemic now, um, so this might be the relief rally off the bottom, but I don't think it's likely to pop any higher than 6,000 at this point. But what we see here is we see that these, these indicators here telling us where we're being rejected from already, which is the 10 simple, so the very first, more or less the first area of rejection is the very first moving average that's come up to test. That's also, you could say, it's the um, it's also the 9 EMA, the two very smallest uh, moving averages that I use. Uh, and it's and it's come up to test those, and it's being rejected from those. So that was, and I said it on my Telegram group that that level of rejection is between five thousand eight to five thousand nine, and it looks as though we're being rejected from it now. We'll go to a fifteen minute chart to see how that looks, and in real time, so five thousand, almost five thousand nine. So you know, within that hundred dollar range. Now we're going to try to to test this again. I would expect. But if we do not get a higher high than this level here, this very local, the most recent high that we've got here, um, if we fail to rally up to that level again and maybe try it a third time, I would expect this whole formation to collapse back in on itself again. Um, because, it, you know, like I say, we're very early on in this global pandemic for the Western Hemisphere. A lot of the money pours in from the West. So what I'm saying here is my support levels are always usually almost always my moving averages uh, so my moving averages for this one it looks to be the the 9 EMA and the 10 simple breaking above there holding above there on a 10 uh, uh, sorry on a um, maybe even a 4 hourly um, you know I like to trade on the daily so on a daily would be a positive step but again when money is being drained out of the market in general even gold and especially oil um, and then we're talking about the Forex and the DAX and everything like that, just losing um, more and more points every day. Um, crypto, yeah, is having a very tasty relief rally, uh, but it will come down with them. Now, will it come back down to test these levels again? Ah, that's the thing. I would say that because we've already tested that level and we found a really big bounce from it, we might get close to it. Uh, we could easily come back down to 4,400 again, 4,500 again. That's not really a problem for me uh, but for the moment this is all these moving averages are descending we've got death crosses everything looks bearish on it uh, the, the, the simples uh, the 10 simple the, the 9 EMA are rejecting our first attempt to break above a moving average since this entire massive just, just calamity um, since since all of that, since our first day that we've tested it on a daily and we're being rejected from it so that is to be expected um, and I would expect the rejection to continue maybe bringing us back down to around 5,002, 5,000 flat, 
breaking below 5,000 for any prolonged period of time, talking maybe 4 to 12 hours, would suggest a continuation down a little bit more. Um, but I would expect to see supports around this level, 4,400, where we where we bounced on this occasion, and we bounced on this occasion. I think the obvious choice is if, if it is to break down, and it breaks down beneath 5,000, it would be 5,000, sorry, 4,400 for the bounce. If that breaks down from there, then we are talking really nasty bearish moves. Um, obviously, we've got this level here, around about 3,008, 3,007, 3,008, which we would expect to bounce from, because it's the obvious choice. But for the moment, we've been rejected from here, perhaps to bring us down to the low 5,000s, if not 5,000 flat. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on this. There's no point in me looking at altcoins, because altcoins rally with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the leader. If Bitcoin goes up, altcoin, altcoins go up usually harder. If Bitcoin goes down, altcoins go down harder. So we're basically just following Bitcoin. It's the only one to follow for me. I know there's a few deviations of that, but for me it's Bitcoin all the way, only because it's the, uh, it's the chart to watch. You could look at another chart and say, yeah, this is going to do that, but... Uh, Bitcoin is is leading the market and unfortunately Bitcoin is on very unsteady territory at the moment given the fundamentals of the global financial crisis which is basically what it is um, everything's crashing everything's burning so there's no reason to suggest that the fire is out globally which means that the Bitcoin is unlikely to be out too now I know that we've got a halving event coming up but for me personally I can't write too much into the fact that there is a halving event yes there's probably gonna be a pump on the day uh, but leading up to it, are we priced in or not? Who knows at this point? Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of other companies out there, and a lot of other assets out there which have extremely good fundamentals, and they're all suffering. So a halving event, you know, doesn't mean a great deal to me. Not now. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice evening, nice day. Stay safe. Wash your hands, and uh, join the Telegram chat. Take it easy. Thanks.